When I went to the Sistine Chapel myself about 10 years ago, of course you have to see the originals. There's no, no, you know, no, no, no problem, if, you know, wanting to go. Absolutely, you have to see them. But when you get there, you first have the long lines, then you have 2,000 people in a 10,000 square foot space, the Sistine Chapel, screaming and yelling. You got uh, 50 guards uh, taking your camera or your phone, if you even think about taking a picture. The entire experience wasn't that great, to me, personally. So when I left, I thought, well, you know, we're in the exhibition business. If I can get the licensing rights for these images, if they're available, post-restoration, um, uh, we should do an exhibit where people see these frescoes that he did up close in the original size. People don't realize how big they are. And then, you know, uh, three years later in 2015, we opened the first uh, Michelangelo Sistine Chapel exhibition. There are 33 frescoes that he painted on the ceiling. Uh, you know, one of the most famous one uh, is Creation of Adam, of course. And then 20 years later, he came back and for another five years, when he was an older man, uh, and painted The Last Judgment. The Last Judgment is 40 by 40 feet in size, has over 400 characters. We have a reproduction of it in the original size as well, but unfortunately the, the ceiling here at the museum uh, wasn't high enough, so we have another version that is half the size, 20 by 20, which is displayed here. Uh, and it, it's just stunning. You can spend over an hour just looking at that because again there are 400 characters that he painted on there, including a self-portrait of himself. So there are all together 34, including The Last Judgment. So 25 are here and in the main lobby we have the 10, 9 plus The Last Judgment.